Hello, and welcome to the guitar department. I'm your host, Devon Miller. Now, in the last episode, we uh, learned three chords on the guitar. We learned the G chord. We learned the C chord. And we learned the D chord. And then I also uh, demonstrated just a few of the dozens of songs that you can play with just these three chords. Um, we also learned how to properly hold the guitar, uh, the body basically between the legs, resting on the left leg. Um, if you're left-handed, of course, you want to flip that around. Um, we also learned how to use our fingertips instead of the sides of our fingers when we're playing chords, and also to arch our fingers uh, when we're playing the chords so that the strings that are underneath the fingers, uh, you're not touching them and every string is ringing out like it should. So today we are going to learn a few new chords, uh, demo some songs, and we're also going to talk about uh, a few other basic things about the playing the guitar as well as some basics of music that should help you in your musical journey. So without any further ado, let's get started. So the next chord I want to show you is an A chord. Uh, to build an A chord, we are going to take our pointer ring finger or first finger and we're going to place it on the second fret of the D or the fourth string. I'm going to take our middle finger and place it on the second fret of the G or the third string. And we're going to take our ring finger and we're going to place it on the second fret of the B or second string. So I know there's not a lot of real estate in there to cram all of those fingers uh, in there. But uh, go ahead and give it a try. We're going to strum. We're not going to strum this low E or sixth string. We're only going to strum um, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So go ahead and give it a try. Okay, so I know this one's a little more difficult because, like I said, there's not a lot of room in there to get all of your fingers. Um, my dad, who's got a little bit thicker fingers than I do, he actually used to play an A chord uh, like this, just using two fingers to cover all three of the strings. And, you know, some guys will even just use one finger. But sometimes it's well, it's hard to get that high E to ring out, you know, to get that get your finger out of the way enough to where that high E can ring out. So I would say, if if at all possible, try to play that A with all three fingers, like that. So now let's learn how to build an E chord. So to build an E chord, take your first finger and place it on the first fret of the. G string or third string. You're going to take your middle finger and you're going to place it on the second fret of the A or fifth string. And you're going to take your ring finger and you're going to place it on the second fret of the fourth or D string. And then you're going to strum all six strings. So watch your finger placement. Make sure that you are um, as close to the fret as you can without like actually touching it or crowding your other fingers. So now, if we take the A chord and the E chord and put that together with the D chord that we learned from the last episode, we can play uh, several more songs. Uh, just a few examples are uh, the song Lean On Me. Lean on me when you're not strong and I'll be your friend and I'll help you carry on. Or uh, Sweet Caroline by Neil Diamond. Sweet Caroline Good times never seem so good. Or uh, Johnny Cash's I Walk the Line. I keep a close watch on this heart of mine. 
I keep my eyes wide open all the time I keep the ends out for the ties that bind Because you're mine, I walk the line Or uh, Lay Down Sally by Eric Clapton Lay down Sally and rest you in my arms Don't you think you want someone to talk to? Or uh, you twos, and I still haven't found what I'm looking for. We're going to take a short break, but when we come back, I'm going to share some more tips on playing the guitar, uh, as well as a few things about music in general. And then we will also take a look at a few variations uh, that we can make on the chords that we've learned today so that you can uh, play several more songs. So stay tuned, and we'll be right back. Went down to Louisiana, across the New Orleans Went back up in the hills among the evergreens A little log cabin made of earth and wood A little country boy named Johnny B. Good He never ever learned to read or write so well But he can play guitar just like he's ringing a bell Now, there are three basic components of music. There's the rhythm, which is the beat or the pulse of the song. Um, there's the melody, which is typically what a lead vocalist will sing or a lead instrument will play. And harmony, which are the chords um, that background vocalists will sing or the background instruments will play. Now, you can play any of these on the guitar, uh, but typically the most popular music uh, the guitar is playing the chords that fill in the harmony of the song, and the strumming supports the rhythm of the song. Soloing your lead guitar will come eventually, but you have to have some patience. Um, don't expect yourself to be playing like Eddie Van Halen in a week. Uh, you know, learning music is like learning a new language. Uh, you work on your letter sounds in kindergarten, and then you start building words. Uh, the next few grades, you start putting those words into sentences. Then, of course, by junior high, um, you're able to tell a coherent story. And that's what we're learning with the guitar, is we are learning how to communicate um, through the notes that we play. There are a few different ways to tune a guitar. Uh, the first and probably the easiest way is to use a tuner. Now, you can either buy these at uh, a music store or uh, you could even download an app on your phone. Um, you know, but they all basically work the same way. Uh, you just either plug in or use a built-in microphone on the tuner itself and you pluck a string and if the needle goes right in the center then you're in tune <clears throat> if the needle is lower than the desired pitch then we say that that's flat If the note is higher than the desired pitch, then that is sharp. Now, one uh, quick note. Um, you never want to tune down to the desired pitch. You always want to go flat and then tune back up to the desired pitch. And the reason is because as you're moving these tuning pegs, uh, the string is moving back and forth across this nut and it can get caught in there um, if you're going down. And then 
it'll break free eventually and then you're out of tune. So it's always best to, to start low and then come down or come back up to the pitch because that way the tension is going um, this direction and you're not in any danger of it getting caught. Of course, if you don't have a tuner available, but you have a piano, you can always tune to the piano. Just uh, hit the note on the piano and then pluck the string on the guitar. So now I'm going to pluck each of my guitar strings and that way you can tune to my guitar and then you can play along with the rest of the show. So first is the low E or the sixth string. Next is the A or fifth string. Next is the D or the fourth string. Next is the G or third string. Next is the B or second string. And finally, the first or high E string. So remember this E chord that we learned in the last segment? First finger on the first fret of the G string, second finger on the second fret of the uh, A string, and third finger on the second fret of the D string, strumming all six strings. Now if we lift our first finger off the fretboard, but keep the other two fingers down and strum all six strings, we get what's known as an E minor chord. Now minor chords um, have a have a sad or darker sound to them. All the other chords that we've learned so far are what's known as major chords. They have a happier, more uplifting sound. Now adding this E minor chord to our vocabulary allows us to play even more songs. Uh, just a few examples are Rocky Mountain High by John Denver. Rocky Mountain High, Colorado. Rocky Mountain High, Colorado. Or uh, Who Wouldn't Want to Be Me by Keith Urban. Got the one I love beside me, my troubles behind me. I'm alive and I'm free. Who wouldn't want to be me? Or, uh, I Won't Back Down by Tom Petty. No, I stand my ground. Won't be turned around. And I keep this world from dragging me down. And I won't back down. Or, uh, the song Time of Your Life by Green Day. I ain't something unpredictable, but in the end it's right. Well, I hope you had the time of your life. Now moving on, if we take this E major chord shape that we learned earlier, and we move every finger down one string, so first finger, is going to be on the first fret of the second string or B string. Second finger is going to be on the second fret of the D or fourth string. And third finger is going to be on the second fret of the G or third string. And then we strum all the strings except for the low E. 
we're going to get uh, what's known as an A minor chord. Now, some of the songs we can play with this A minor chord, uh, one of them is another Tom Petty song called Last Dance with Mary Jane. She grew up in Indiana town and a good looking mama never was around. But she grew up tall and she grew up right with the Indiana boys on the Indiana nights. Or we could also do uh, the song Closing Time by Semi Sonic. I know who I want to take me home. I know who I want to take me home. Or uh, What's Up by Four Non Blondes. And I said, hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, yeah, yeah. I said, hey, what's going on? And, of course, we can do the song Shallow by Lady Gaga and Bradley Cooper. In the shallow, shallow. In the shallow, in the shallow, shallow, we're far from the shallow now. We are going to take another uh, quick break, but when we come back, we'll demo several more songs that you can play using the chords that we've learned so far. So please stay tuned. On a long, lonesome highway east of Omaha, you can listen to the engines going out as one long song. You can think about the one girl you knew the night before. Oh, here I am On the road again Here I am Up on stage There I go Playing star again There I go Turn the page Welcome back to the guitar department. Once again, I'm your host, Devon Miller. Now let's take a look at a few more songs that you can play using the chords that we've learned so far today. Um, you can do uh, Creedence Clearwater's revival's Bad Moon Rising. I see a bad moon rising I see the trouble on the way Or uh, When You Say Nothing At All by Keith Whitley or Alison Krauss. Now you say it best when you say nothing at all. Or uh, Tom Petty's Free Fallen. Yeah, I'm free. Free Fallen. And, of course, uh, Honky Tonk Woman by uh, Rolling Stones. I met a gent so barroom queen in Memphis. She tried to take me upstairs for a ride. She had to heave me right across her shoulder. I just can't seem to drink you off my mind. So take your time uh, learning these chords and switching between them. Um, make sure that every note is ringing out. You know, stop and correct mistakes uh, right away. Uh, I once had a guitar teacher tell me that if you don't stop and correct mistakes right away, uh, you're actually practicing making the mistake, and then it will become part of your playing. Um, be patient with yourself. 
you will develop the muscle memory over time. I know it's kind of harsh, but you will get out of the guitar exactly what you put into it. If you don't practice or be lazy with your practicing, you will not get any better. You have to put in the time to get results. Uh, a friend of mine once told me that practicing the guitar is like watching a plant grow. Uh, you don't see any change if you stare at the plant nonstop for hours. But if you look at the plant on Monday and then look at it again a week later, you're going to see a big difference. In other words, you're not necessarily going to notice your progress. Well, that's all the time we have for today, but we will be back, and next time we're going to check out an electric guitar. So for the guitar department, I am Devon Miller, and we will see you next time. A long, long time ago, I can still remember how the music used to make me smile. And I knew if I had my chance, I can make those people dance and maybe they'd be happy for a while. But February made me shiver with every paper I delivered. Bad news on the doorstep. I couldn't take one more step. I can't remember if I cried when I read about his widowed bride. Something touched me deep inside the day. The music died